Hi there, this is Mike here, and I want to go over how to create a simple PDF using Acrobat Professional. Uh, a lot of times as you're working with uh, a variety of files, you need to send it over to a client. Uh, maybe you're going to be sending it to a customer, and uh, they probably are not going to have that existing program. So if you're doing something in Illustrator, InDesign, they're definitely not going to have that program. So how do you show them what the file looks like? Well, saving it, converting it as a PDF is one way of doing so. And it really is very helpful, especially with Microsoft Word, when there's so many different versions of Word out there now. Some of the older versions cannot open up the newer version of Word. So it's best to save as a PDF. And you'll find as you move out there, um, and you're going to be submitting resumes, they it used to be a long time ago, it used to be submit a Word document, now it's submit a PDF document. So very simple here I do have Acrobat Pro open and um, it allows you it comes with a suite for Adobe Suite uh, you can buy the Acrobat Pro separate but Acrobat Pro allows you to create a PDF allows you to do a variety of different things that you're going to be able to add into it but it, they really made it really a simple technique and all you do is you come up here to click on create and you can do a couple things They give you different options uh, you, if you want to just create one PDF from a file you can and it doesn't matter what file it is um, you can create a PDF by scanning uh, the image in from your scanner uh, if you wanted to you can create a PDF from a web page so if you want to send information about your company uh, you can actually save that web page to as a PDF and, and uh, send it off to a client but what I'm going to do here instead, I'm going to actually merge multiple files into a single PDF because a lot of times you're going to not just take one file, you're going to bring multiple files from different programs. So I'm going to click on here and this will open up a dialog box that will allow you to add files. Now if I go up here where it says add files, uh, the little drop down list up here at the top, I can add individual files and what I really like is if you put all your files into one folder that you want to create a PDF, you can actually choose that folder and it'll bring all the files in to this list. So if you go in, you copy all your files. So like for example, I, I work with a lot of graphic designers and what will happen is they will bring all their designs into one folder. They click and select the folder and all their designs will can be converted over to a PDF, which is kind of cool. I want to click on Add Files instead. And this takes me to my folder called Acrobat, which I have a few files I'm going to list here. And I'm going to select one of the files. And I'm going to go back up. See, and see how if you're adding multiple files, uh, add, using the Add Files might be a little cumbersome because you have to do it individually. So I'm, I'm inserting a Word document, I'm inserting a graphic. I'm going to go back up and add another Word document and I'm going to add another graphic. Now once it's in this list you can actually reorganize it to any way you want and as a, you know with graphic designers I work with they're going to put all their logos together they're going to put all their Word documents together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this Word document monthly income up so it's below doc1 and I'm just going to select it I want to click on move up you can also go in and if you added something accidentally you can select it and click on remove down here at the bottom which is nice as well so there's not really a limitation of how many files you can add into a PDF um, so that's a great thing but just you want to keep it organized um, and try to know what you're going to add in uh, before you start creating the PDF the other feature I like in this dialog box is down here at the bottom right hand corner we have actual options we can reduce the file size because as you start working adding more files you're going to get the file size is going to become large and sometimes you can't send it via email because of file size constraints like for example Yahoo if you're sending someone to a Yahoo account the, the file if it's over 10 megs it will not be sent so here there's three options you can reduce it um, which you, typically I do um, is I click on the smaller file size um, or you can leave it you know go all the way up to the top to a larger file size which means high quality so it won't anytime you compress something in PDF it actually loses quality uh, loses detail in the images so you do have to be careful on that now once you have the files in I'm going to click on combine files 
Now what's doing is it's opening up the actual application in the background. You don't see it. And it's going to print the PDF. Now that's how it, it sounds weird, but it's actually printing the PDF and it's using what we call a print command to create that PDF. So if you see the word printing or anything like that, don't worry. It's not going to print to your printer. It's doing everything internally. Now it does take a few seconds and typically I do find that if, you, if you're using Acrobat Pro you want to have those files closed so you don't want them open up in the existing programs. Once it goes through and converts it, a little green check mark will come uh, up here and it will also come up and say successful. Now, complete it. So now here it's asking to name it. So I'm going to name it. I want to click on save. Now yeah, I have four pages up here so if I click on the arrows up here at the top pointing down I can see the information. I can also zoom out zoom in so I can see the whole image or the whole document. So I do have four pages here and again if you want to see the whole thing you sometimes you gotta zoom out to see the whole page. Okay. So again, that's a nice little feature. I do have four pages and it's been saved. And again, what's really nice about this, I can bring files from all different programs into my PDF. Now another thing you could do as well, and it's something you have to watch out for, um, is, is that maybe you already created the P PDF and you want to add additional files. Yeah, you can do that. You just can go up to the document menu and you can choose to insert pages and you can do from file. Now you have to have the PDF already created so you're going to have to recreate it using either the single PDF or in most programs you can automatically save it with the save as command as a PDF. Most of the new programs will allow you to do it right there within the save as command. Um, so again you would have to know where the PDF is so in this case, um, you know, let me go in. Actually, I don't think I have a PDF uh, other than my, on my desktop, but let me check on my desktop real quick. Nope. But what I'll do here, I will save. I will come back over here to a different program, Photoshop. Sorry for those little blinks. And what I'll do here is I'll go up to File, Save As. And you remember I told you that most most places are going to have a option to be able to save it. I'm just changing the file, the folder where it's going to be saved as. Down here at the very bottom there's a format called Photoshop PSD. I'm going to change that format so it's actually a PDF. Okay, so a lot of programs allow you to do it in-house into the program. I'm going to click on save. Now it's going to come up and ask me about compressing. So you remember in the other dialog box it asked for the same thing. I actually can go in and choose the three options as well. So um, I'm going to leave it as small as file size. I'm going to click on save PDF. It's asking me if you want to go in and compatibility issues and that's fine. Just click OK. Now I minimize that. I'm coming back to the Acrobat. So if I go up to document insert pages and I choose from file there's that new PDF. I'm going to select it. Now you have to tell it where you want it located and I'm going to choose the last page and I'm going to click OK. Now you can see up here at the top it says 1 of 5 and down here at the very bottom it's a very small image so don't don't worry about how it looks. Um, you can zoom in on it if you needed to but again it's not all going to be the same size from one page to another depending on your files. And lastly, once you bring this in, yes, you can insert pages. You can also go up to document and delete pages if you added too many, um, too many of the same file in there twice. So there's a lot of features under the document menu that you can work with. The other feature, too, um, also I want to point out is on the left-hand side, there's a pages option. It's kind of like PowerPoint slide views where you can actually go in and see the thumbnail of each of the page. And you can click on it and it'll go right to that page. Now what I like about it is like in the dialog box that we saw earlier, we can organize the list. Well guess what, we can organize it here by dragging. So if I want to go in and bring 5 up between 3 and 4, I just drag it up and release. And it reorganized my page structure, which is kind of cool as well.
So hopefully this gives you a better idea on working with Acrobat and creating PDFs. There are other features you can actually add into Acrobat, um, especially if you're a graphic designer and, and a photographer and, and interior designer. You can bring in videos. Um, you can bring in sound. Um, you can create forms in Acrobat. So there's a lot of other features. So definitely check around in, in Acrobat, see what you can do. I think you'll be happy with what you will find.